welcome back to another reaction of Dr. <laughs> Ooh. Let's get into another episode. As you guys know, I started, what was it called? The Lion, I believe it was. Um, and unfortunately, it was missing parts. You guys did let me know. The first and the third part um, was saved, but the second and the fourth part was not, unfortunately. Um, the first part of that, the line was amazing. I started getting to the second part, but it is audio. Um, and I will try my hardest. <laughs> ADD is real, I have it. But I will try my hardest to get through that just so I can hear and see that episode, what little pieces I do have of that um, that episode because the first one was amazing. But we're getting into, I believe this is called the Space Museum. This is the next full story, you guys let me know. So let's get into this right away. You wanna see this in a full reaction? It will be available for my Patreon as well as my YouTube channel memberships. The link is already down below in the comments section please click those links and join our extended family today don't forget while you are here you're getting comfortable and you're getting ready to watch this reaction please hit that like button share and don't forget to comment down below there's a lot of don't forgets and comment sections and all this stuff let's get in with the reaction and let's find out exactly what dr <laughs> has got to give Mm. Ian, get off my mama! No, that's better. Uh, Doctor, we've got our clothes on. Well, I should hope so, dear boy, I should hope so. We were wearing those uh, cloaks and things, weren't we? Dismiss it like that. We were standing here in 13th century clothes. I we can't suddenly... Dear boy, it's over and done with. Sir, go and have a look. All right, I will. But on your way back. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. Uh, time and relativity. That's where the answer lies. I dare say it yes, does, sir. Doctor. Our crusading clothes are here. Good, good. There you are, you see. <laughs> Looks like what? desert to me. Hmm? Oh, look! Spaceships! So quiet, it could be a graveyard. Maybe it's a dumping ground. No, I don't think so, my boy, no. Look, there's a building. What do you make of that, Doctor? Well, I'm afraid I can't give you any answers here, my dear. The readings say it's quite safe. Safe? Hmm? <laughs> well, the readings don't always tell us everything, you know. Don't look so concerned, child. It's quite easily replaced. Hmm? Not, uh, it doesn't have to be. Came together again and jumped up into my hand. You dropped a glass and it came together again in your hands? With yes. the water in it. Take a closer look at those objects. You'll see that some of them are more advanced in design. It's quite a natural progression. Things that we would like an answer to. So I suggest we go outside. Rock, paper, scissors, and shoe. <laughs> and she looks like she Dorothy, Wizard of Oz. Dust everywhere. Well, isn't that extraordinary? I've never seen erosion in such an advanced stage. Jaded extinction with extreme cold. You know, something like the dark side of the moon. Mm. As there's always an element of danger in the unknown, I suggest we keep closer together. Is that clear? Mm? Yes. But what is it now, dear boy? Mm? We're walking on dust. Then why aren't we leaving any footprints? What's going on with the dust? Dust, dust, dust. This looks like the only door. Yeah, oh. looks like any. No windows either. Good job, Barbara. How are we going to get in there? Hmm? Well, I don't know. Doesn't seem to be any way of opening the door. It's the silence. When we stop talking, there isn't a sound. Listen. More and more like a graveyard. Oh, that's quite enough. Now stop it. You'll have uh -huh. us all abandoning things. I think they saw you. Only a few feet away. I know. It's extremely doubtful that they were both deaf. Probably something in the atmosphere that uh, has a very slow, destructive property. Yes. If my assumption as to where we were has been proved correct. Mm. Yes. It seems quite normal. Well, why not? Why shouldn't it be? It's quite natural. Why not a museum in space? Mm. Right. I always thought I'd find one someday. Mm. Let's go and have a look in that other room. Mm. Let's go. Planet Garo. So that's what a Dalek looks like. Uh, don't touch that. So they invaded Earth about 300 years ago, was it? 
We were there, Vicky. Well, this one looks quite friendly. <laughs> friendly? <laughs> Get behind the case. Quick, quick, quick. Don't touch it. Oh. Other means of communication, you know, on a very high frequency. Uh... No? I doubt it. I doubt it. Come on, come on. It didn't seem hostile. That's something to be thankful for. Oh, I don't know. Even the Daleks are friendly to some. They are friendly. I doubt if we'll get much conversation out of them. Unless one of you can lip-read. I thought I told you not to touch. When are you going to learn oh, to obey me? Oh, my I touched that thing and my hand went right through it. Well, there is something there, isn't there? I mean, we can all see it, can't we? <laughs> yes. Oh, quick, let's hide. Well, where can we hide? Doctor, what should we do? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. That one looked straight at me. Utterly unbelievable. If they had seen us, they would have made Scream. some sign, however slight. We are not really here, hmm? Oh. I think the doctor's wrong. Huh? Well, how can we find the answer in here? Let's see what's in here, hmm? Oh, same as all the others, I suppose. Good. Vicious me. Hmm. Well, how did that get in here? Let's leave at once. I've had enough of this place, oh, too. Oh, you've all decided, have you? Hmm? Yes, I'm afraid it's going to be a little more difficult than that. Where are we? Hmm? Where are we? Hmm? We must have arrived here in the TARDIS sometime. Are we here? Hmm? Oh! Models or pictures? That's us. Yes. A dimension in itself also has dimensions of its own. We really are in those cases, but we're also standing here. And if we're not there, we can't leave footprints and break glasses. Is there any way of getting out of this, Doctor? No. Well, my dear, I suppose we got into it. I've always found it extremely difficult to solve the fourth dimension. You know, I think the TARDIS jumped a time track and ended up here. I think you're all going to be delighted. I'm going to come up with the answer. All we have to do is to wait here until we arrive. These people saw us and thought we were worthy people to be put in their space museum. What we are doing now is taking a glimpse into the future, or what might be or could be the future. Get out of here now! And end up one day, my dear, like that? No, we must not. Quite unable to measure the time dimension that the TARDIS jumped. Could be in a few moments or a few seconds. The cases will disappear and we shall all become visible. And oh. from that moment we'll be in great danger. Something strange is happening, I can feel it. That's so weird. And we've arrived. Oh. Should be good for another hundred years or so. Oh. What was wrong with it? Well, the clasps are broken. Well, I've got two more millions before I can go home. I volunteered. You were ordered. The truth were known, I was just as bored on Mark. I'm the governor of this planet. You're right, supposed to show some respect and not... It was landed. From home? There was no advance notification. And not from the planet, more. We found footprints, but no trace of them. We were unable to enter the craft, but it appears to be uninhabited. Three or more. Organize the search, then detain them for questioning. Rebels? This local rebel? The children. Oh, the children, as you call them, are growing up. Nevertheless, they'll try and contact our visitors for help. I must remember to notify the commanders to keep watch. We may even be able to add to the museum. Oh? But the Morocks are out checking. If they found him missing, they could have pulled him in for questioning. Look, we're just waiting to be rounded up. I suppose Tor knows what he's doing. Does he? Well, the longer we leave it, the greater the risk. But we'll only get one opportunity, Darko. The spaceship landed here. Where yeah. from? Oh, nobody knows yet. They'd already left it before the ship was found. Lobos is organizing a search. Search? Mm. Tor, I don't understand. See the Morocks. <laughs> the universe is huge. There must be millions of planets that have never heard of the Morocks. The Morocks are searching. You've already said that. They'll find them first. Yeah. Hurry up, it's heavy. <gasps> oh, all right. <clears throat> Uh, Chesterton, this is no time to be playing cowboys. <laughs> we might be able to bluff our way out of here with this. If we want to get out of here. Oh, we can't stay here, Barbara. Break the chain of events that led up to it. And going out of here might be just what we're not supposed to do. Perhaps if we wait until we are taken out, that might change the future. The fact is the future, our future. Whether we leave here in the TARDIS or not. Hmm. We've got to decide on something. Decide, my dear, spinning a coin would be just as appropriate. You've lost a button. Hmm? Oh, so I have. Lost a button. 
Hmm. The least important things sometimes, my dear boy, lead to the greatest discoveries. It's a pity, my dear boy, you didn't discover it was missing in the cases. I wasn't counting the buttons on my jacket. <laughs> yes, I quite understand that. Oh, which way? Have you any uh, particular fancy? The way we came in, of course. Turn left when we came in. Well, actually, all the doors and corridors are exactly alike. You are just as lost as the rest of us. Yes, I suppose I must confess I am. I remember that thing being over there. Yes, I think Vicky's quite correct, yes. You know where we are now? <laughs> you do? Well, which way do we go? Uh, 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 straight ahead. Straight. Hey, Commander K Division, alien spaceship in hand, sir. Footsteps were found near the museum. The search is proceeding. Good. We can be seen by now. That must be there. And there are. Quick, back here. I had a ray gun. I saw it. Well, that's no reason to sound downhearted. We were hoping they would. Capture either the old man or the girl. We, we can explain and let, let, let them introduce us to the others. Mm, it's a good idea. Doctor! Mm. Yes, yes. All right, child. <laughs> oh, no! He killed him, Sita. Uh. I couldn't have. I hardly touched him. Stay here and watch him, Darko, in case he recovers. Me? Where are you going? To try and find something to bring him round. He was following us. I know that, but where did he stop? Barbara, I oh? am not blaming you. Well, then stop getting irritable. I am not irritable. Ah. <laughs> Looking in one of the cases, I suppose we could have left him behind. I bet he's been captured. Vicky, you're just letting your imagination run away with you. There were four of us in those cases, not one. Oh, Barbara, asking a lot of questions is not going to change our future. Stop fighting, guys. I say we go on. Turn my back for a second. The next one. Was it the old man? I don't know. We have to see if we can find him. Don't forget they're still armed. Uh, we have to take our chance this time. Otherwise, the Morocks will get them first. I fought them all. I am the master. Ah. This thing ages ago. We're just going round and round in circles. There's only one thing that's certain. We're getting nearer and nearer to those cases. He just went into the labyrinth. He took with him a ball of thread so that he could use it to retrace his step. I'd ask. I mean, that's mm. a good cardigan. Oh, uh, sorry. Well, uh, may we? If anyone sees it, they'll be able to follow it and catch us. Uh, we'll get caught anyway if we don't get out of here. Uh, what? How do you undo this? Oh, give it to me. <laughs> Damn, they got him. Oh, now it's getting worse. They must have missed the old man. Yes, this was put here for him to follow them. No, I don't think so. Whatever the reason, it's a trail. And trails are meant to be followed. This way. Welcome to Zeros, a planet in the Morak Empire. What is your name? The curator of a museum is a better title. Hmm? Ah, so now you choose to speak. Good. Oh. In my observation, it uh, seems to uh, arouse uh, very little interest. Perhaps if you reduce the price of admission. Hmm? Lathic conquests are a thing of the past. Life, it is now said, is a purely a thing to enjoy. Okay. Why do you come here? I mean, Exploration? Ah, then you are a scientist like myself. Where are your companions? Companions? <laughs> of course your cooperation would have made things easier, but it isn't essential. Proceed immediately to corridor 417. Detain three humans. Simple matter of thought selection. By asking a question, I plant an image in your mind. How did you get here? <laughs> it didn't work, did it? No. Oh, I don't know. We we didn't go round and round in circles. Maybe the doctor's wrong and you can't change the future. Oh, don't say Come that. Come on, Barbara. Barbara. I can't Stop. Stop. Think it's... It's the TARDIS! They've got the TARDIS! Where have you come from? If you take a look into your screen, perhaps you will find that out. But these are amphibious creatures. You are not an amphibian. Oh, I'm not, am I? <laughs> You fools, you let them escape. All available divisions, priority search. Think my friends most probably left the area long before you put questions to me. You are of no further use to me and would make a perfect specimen for our museums. Take him to the preparation room. Oh no. Well, well. So, I actually liked both of these episodes a lot. Um, the main villain, or whatever he is, the Mar Marnock, M not Marnock, Maroc, Mar whatever they're called. The, um, Star Wars, not Star Wars. <laughs> Get it together, Andres. What the f are you trying to say? Star Trek. Um, this guy. He kind of gives me 
the master. And I don't know why. He just looks like the master. He looks like he could be potentially the master. I know he's not, but I'm just saying he would be, he probably would have been a really good master. And I like the way he talks. He's just very interesting, captivating. This story is really good. I like this whole like different dimension thing. They see themselves, but they see themselves in the future and they have to change the future but I guess they weren't trying to change it too much for whatever reason um but you know you can't really change you shouldn't really change your future so we learned like in the doctor doctor who I've learned that um because it messes up everything so this space museum will turn people into pretty much like toys right I'm pretty sure Pinocchio is there somewhere um, we just have, we gotta look hard. I really do like the men with the black outfits on, with the crazy ass eyebrows. They're running around here with their broad mother effing shoulders looking like they belong in the NFL. Um, and then you have these, the soldiers in white. Absolutely. They kind of remind me of, um, have you guys ever seen, what is that show? Wheel of Time. And there was a whole bunch of group, group of people that dressed in white. They kind of give me that plus Star Trek, just a combination of both. And I'm like living, loving, and wanting more. Plus I saw that guy's white boots and I, both of those, all those guys white boots. And I was like, yes, God, yes. Um, so I really like the story. I'm here for it. I have to say, <laughs> And it's, I've been wanting to say this for a very long time, for a very long time, but I didn't because like, I know what, <laughs> I feel like it's kind of creepy, but I think Ian was super cute when he was younger. Like, and I've always thought that, like I've always like watched this show and I'm like, he, Ian's like super cute. But now like he's like an older man and shout out to him living his best effing life. Um, but he was really cute when he was younger. So like this episode too, I'm like, in my head, I'm like, ooh. Go ahead, Ian. Um, and once again, Barbara is just the queen bee. Love her all the way down. And for some reason, everybody loves the other companion, right? Which I actually don't mind her. But I always forget her fucking name. What is it, Tiffany? <laughs> I don't know why she just, like, it's really interesting. I kind of want to know why people like really like her. Not saying there's anything wrong with that. And I'm not saying that I dislike her, but I feel like she doesn't leave an impression on me. I feel like Barbara like outshines both of them at all times and then comes Ian because Ian's always in trouble so it's, it's just like um I don't know I love let me see it should be coming up right now Barbara right Vicky is her name um yeah Vicky I don't know why she just doesn't like do it for me love her but she doesn't captivate me but maybe like later on in other episodes like she does a little bit more but I do enjoy her I just want to make it very clear crystal clear because sometimes when I say things, it comes off one way, but I mean it another way. And I realized that now that I'm a reactor. But um, I do like her. I do. I promise you, I do. Um, I just am waiting for her to make me be like, like how much I love Barbara. That's what I'm waiting to see if Vicky's gonna do that for me. Because I, I see the potential. I definitely see the potential. But so far, Barbara is always and always, when I say always, always capital letters, no space in between. Put the bold on it. She's the queen. Absolutely the queen. So I love this story. I find them both very interesting. Honey, I shrunk the kids. I'm still trying, <laughs> I'm still reeling back from the insect planet. Um, but I really do, do enjoy these two episodes and I want more. I think there's, what is there? Is there, there's, is this a four part episode? I think that I looked ahead. We have the space museum. Then we just saw the dimension of time. The following one is going to be, come on computer, the search. And then we will have, after that, come on computer, you could do it, the final phase. I think that was, that would wrap it up and then we'll be jumping into another story after the final phase. We are, we're jumping into the executioner. So, loving it, loving it, loving it. Thank you guys so much for being here. Um, <laughs> to the people who uh, join Patreon and my YouTube channel membership, when you see me like adjusting the camera, <laughs> cause it's full reaction. And I don't, like sometimes I like don't even cut out the edited, like I will, I'm telling you, sometimes I'm like, yeah, like I'll start yawning and something, not that the show's boring, it's just, listen, I gotta yawn sometimes. Or like I realize that I wanna adjust the camera, I'm telling you, ADD is real. So for the people who watch my full reaction and me adjusting the camera, <laughs> 
and the light bl blinding my eyes. Sorry. Um, but thank you all so much for being here. As I already stated, when you guys are leaving, please hit the like buttons, the share, the comments. I will see you all next time with more Doctor Who.